Hey, I'm Mike with the Florida Public Archaeology Network and today is not a great day for hiking. So instead I thought what I would do is talk to you all about a really important part of hiking when you're out in public lands and that is what should you do if you come across an artifact? Uh, so the first thing we got to start with, what are public lands? Well public lands are lands that all of us own but that are managed by a state or federal entity. Parks, state forests, wildlife management areas, water management areas, all of those are state public lands. Uh, federal public lands include things like national parks, national forests, national seashores, uh, military reservations, those are owned by the federal government, those are all federal public lands. All these public lands, the archeological sites and artifacts on them are all protected by both state and federal laws. So it's actually illegal to knowingly disturb or remove artifacts from any public land without having a permit. But public lands also include submerged bottom lands. So any body of water that's navigable, so creeks, rivers, lakes, uh, the ocean out to a certain nautical miles, all of those are actually owned by the state and federal government, depending on how far you, out you are. So all the shipwrecks and all the artifacts out there, even in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean, to a certain extent out into the water, are actually owned and protected by those same laws. So the question is, uh, what should you do? If you're out there hiking and you come across an artifact, what's the best thing that you can do? First, uh, try to resist the urge to pick it up. So we wanna leave it in place uh, because again, by removing it, that's you're actually breaking the law and you can get in trouble for that. Uh, and then also, when you start removing artifacts from archeological sites, uh, it removes a lot of the information that we can actually learn about a site. So it's important to keep it in place. If you have a uh, smartphone, and most of us have smartphones a day, the next thing that you should do is take a picture of it. Um, and if you have something for scale, like whether it's a quarter or a dime, uh, most um, cards in your wallet are pretty much the same standard size so you can put one of those next to the artifact and take a picture of it to scale. But the next thing you want to do after you take a picture is you want to make a mental note or if you have something to write on or even on your phone, say where you found it at. You want to remember where you found it. Um, sometimes, especially if you're out hiking in the woods along a trail, uh, you might want to look around at unique features, whether it's a unique looking tree, or maybe there's some uh, a wayside sign nearby that you can help kind of remember where you found it. Um, and then the last thing you want to do is you want to notify the land manager. Um, so that's a really important part too, is just to let them know that you found something. Now, you may have actually come across a site that the land managers already know about, or you may have actually just discovered a new archaeological site that they didn't know about. But even if it is a site that they knew about before, the fact that you found some exposed artifacts might indicate that there's some erosion taking place. So that notifies the land manager so that they know that they should probably come and start monitoring the site. So those are just some quick, easy things that you can do that will keep you safe uh, in terms of not violating the law and also that will help protect the archaeology in place. So leave it in place take a photo of it, make a note of where you found it, and notify the land manager. Um, and remember, anytime you're hiking our wonderful public lands, to take only photos, leave only footprints, and I'll see you next time on Hike with Mike.